I'm Trevor Fraser and we are here at ECD Automotive in Kissimmee where they are restoring classic Land Rovers and Jaguars, giving them modern, customized feels for high-end clients. We literally build people's dreams, whether that be a Land Rover Defender, a Jaguar E-Type, we capture what they want to build and we build it for them. This isn't something that they particularly need to have, it's something that they want to have and they want to have fun building it as well. We source from the UK and the vehicle has to be 25 years old so you retain the, the true value of the original vehicle. What we're looking for is a solid robust frame and then once the frame is galvanised then we take it back here and we start the etching process ready to give it its final coating. It's been used, it's been around a little while, um, so we bring it out, ship it over to, to the US. Once it arrives here, we'll strip it right down to the bare chassis. Every single part comes off that vehicle, and then from that absolute bare frame, nut and bolt, everything else gets built back up from there. A build out for a client can take around eight months. Because we do every single aspect in house. So we have paint teams that paint the trucks on site. We have upholstery teams that upholster on site. This is a finished roller. In here, the engine will get dropped in. So electrics will come back and they'll do the first fit of the electrics. And then the engine will be mounted inside and then the bulkhead will go on as well. So we have a, a Cummings diesel engine. So, you know, you get your real authentic Defender almost tractor-esque sound all the way through now to the, the Tesla drive. Train. What we do is you take a front and a rear battery pack from a Tesla, a Tesla motor, you flip it around 180 degrees, but again we've had to customise all the cooling system, but the big thing with electric is you've got to cool everything. It's definitely a different driving experience and I yeah. can't imagine that this is how a Tesla handles. You are in control of the car, the thing that you are doing to the car is what, what will make the car do things. The average price when people are adding upgrades to it and the customization elements is probably about 275000 for a Defender, for a 110. And an E-Type is about $305,000 before upgrades. And then it'll depend, your upgrades would be driven up by whether you put a Tesla powertrain in it, whether you put a bigger LT4 engine in it. I mean look, look at the interior of this thing. That's a Recaro racing seat. Yeah. Shouldn't be in a Defender. You're buying the best seat in the world and then we're making it better. So every two weeks something's happening. Whether it be sending you samples, paint samples, leather samples, discussing updates. You'll see it in 3D renderings that you can rotate. You can see the truck driving as well in 3D renderings. We use gaming software. This is my build out on a classic Jaguar E-Type. I asked for a forest green paint job, red vegan leather with an alligator pattern, chrome finishes, and a classic car phone for the center console. While looking at the build, I realized I wanted a matte finish, and he was able to scale that to show what it would look like at different levels of gloss. So I think what the clients are really interested in here is that they get a fully interactive experience in, in truly designing their own vehicles, from the simplicity of the, the paint color all the way through to the, the weave of the carpet that you're using in there. You're taking something classic and you're restoring it, you bring it back to life and making it better than it was. That's the exciting part of it. And you're creating something specific for each individual. It humors me when I hear, you know, McLaren or Rolls-Royce say one of 500. And I just kind of scratched my head and said, well, we're doing one of one. And at that price point, you should.